All right, we're going to do Dr. Lamb's openings. So we're going to start with our feet hip distance apart. His knees are soft, tailbone is tucked, shoulders are back and down, top of the head is up. The first thing we're going to do, let's just do some gathering chi. Inhale your arms up and exhale and bring them down. And we inhale up and we exhale down. Inhale, exhale. Now we're going to move in place and we're just going to open and close our hands. This is where we're supposed to say good morning, greet you, how are you doing, introduce yourself. There we go. Be a community. <laughs> All right. So we come back to our good Wuji stance and we're going to inhale our hands up and turn them over so they face us. As we bring them in, we tuck the chin and then we release the chin, let them go out, and then follow the hands with your eyes as they go down to the ground. And we inhale up, bring the hands in, tuck the chin, release the chin, and look down. It's all good for stretching the back of the neck. Hands up, bring it in, tuck, Release, and look down. The next one begins. We're going to look side to side, but we're going to begin holding the ball. Whatever hand you have on the bottom, that hand's going to come out to the side, and we're going to follow it with our nose to about 75-80% of our capacity. Bring the hand in over the top, drop the other hand. And we take that hand now out to the other side and we bring it in over the top. The bottom hand once again comes out to the side. This time you can go about five degrees farther, nice and gentle. Bring the hand in, switch hands. Again, taking just a little farther. And the hand on the bottom one more time comes out, looking to the side. There we go. We're at about 85% of our capacity. We bring that hand in and take the final hand out and bring the hand back. The hands will both come down. Just let your arms relax. We're going to rotate the shoulders forward. We're going to take them forward, up, and back. Nice and slow, even. There we go. Then we're going to take the hands and we're going to draw circles, large circles. All right, from here, one more time, we're going to hold the ball. The bottom hand is going to exchange places with the top hand. When it gets to about eye level, we turn it over and we're going to push heaven and earth. Take a breath, exhale. We're going to bring the hands down past one another. Heaven and earth, take, push, inhale. The thought here is that while we're pushing heaven and earth, we're elongating our spine and getting just an extra little space between each one of the vertebrae. We're going to do one more set. Push heaven and earth. Okay, now we're going to hold the ball, the hand that's on top. We're going to turn our whole torso, which is this space between our hips and our shoulders. 
We're going to take and turn the whole torso to that side. Stay in your comfort zone. When you get to the point where you're in firmly in the corner or out to the side, rotate the ball. Exhale as we come back through the center to the other side, all the way over. Rotate the ball. Now exhale again, crumbling across. Rotate. Coming back across. Rotate the ball. This is three times through the center, going to the right, or whichever side you, you took, and coming back the last time. And then we come back to center. Our hands are going to come down by our sides. This next one is for the hips. We are going to take the heel out forward. It's a small step. You can counterbalance with your hands. Then we're going to bring the foot in and step back. Counterbalance, bring it center, and lower the hands. So as we step forward, our hands counterbalance behind us. We take the toe behind, we counterbalance in front, we come back to center. Opening the hip in a forward and a reverse direction. Good. Now we're going to take the hip and we're going to open it side to side. We're going to take one hand up to the side. The other hand's going to come up like we're pushing against a wall. And we lower our weight and step out with our whole foot. So go straight out to the side. Push the wall. Come back to center. Hold the ball. Go across. Push the wall, step out, opening the hip. Hold the ball, go to the other side. Push the wall, come to center, and push the wall, center. We'll do one more set. Push the wall, center, and last time, push the wall, and center. Now, for the knees, the first thing we're going to do is just pick up the knee. Let's start over. Hands come to the waist, soft fists. They're hollow. Shift to one foot, pick up the knee, kick the foot out, bring them back, and set them down. I want you to just touch the toe, punch with the opposite hand, Bring them both back, okay? So shift the weight, pick up the knee, kick and punch, bring it back, set it down. Up, punch, back, down. Up, punch, up, punch. Now the next one, and this one is been tested and shown to improve the, the mobility and the articulation of the knee. We take our hands again at our sides. We're going to step our heel out, shift our weight forward, and punch with the opposite hand, and come back. When the foot's empty, we bring it in. Take the other foot out, shift the weight forward, punch, Bring the weight back. Now, step out. When you come to this position, you should have 70% of your weight on your front leg. The knee should not ever extend beyond the toe. So if you look down, it's gonna, you're going to be able to see your toe around your knee. The back foot stays flat on the floor. So we return. Pick the knee, foot up, bring it back, other foot out, shift forward, punch, bring it back. We'll do one more set on each side. Heel out, 
and back. For the ankle, we bring the foot out in front and we touch the toe and the heel, going back and forth, stretching out the ankle, bring the foot back, take the other foot forward, heel toe, and change. Now we're going to take the other foot out and go outside and inside. and come back. Other foot, out and in. And come back. So those are our warm-ups. Good morning. Um, we're going to do some Tai Chi walking. I'm going to turn around so we can all do this together. <clears throat> the Tai Chi walking that we do for Sun Style which is the Tai Chi for arthritis. We will take a step out. We come forward with our weight, 70%, knee does not extend beyond the toe. Bring the other foot halfway up and rest the toe. The heel is not quite touching. We're gonna step back with that back foot. Bring the front foot forward. Step out. Bring the back foot up halfway. Step back. Bring the toe back. Step out. This time we're going to go a step forward. Bring the toe up. Step back. Bring the toe back. Forward. And back. Now the other type of Tai Chi walking we do is we will step out, turn the toe out, shift forward, Shift back, toe is out. Now take a step straight ahead. The toe is pointed straight ahead. We come forward to 70%. We come back, turn the toe out, and step through. 70%, back to zero, toe out, step straight through. 70%, back to zero, toe out. Step through, 70%, zero, toe's gonna stay there, we're just gonna step up. Now, stepping backwards, we take a step back with the toe first, rock up, rock back, toe straight ahead, it goes behind. You don't wanna be on a tightrope, you rather have like one plank of the wood flooring that we're working on open between your feet. Shifting the weight, coming back. And one more step. And we'll bring the foot back and come back to parallel. So I was looking at a study that was done in 2021 they took a group of older people, that's all I'm going to say, and measured, did, did a bunch of measure, physical measurements on them. And then they followed them over the course of a year. And they found that the people who had multiple falls, or falls at all, had a weaker calf muscle and weaker big toe, the ability to pull that big toe back, so being able to do this, ah, there we go. Here we go. Point the toe, pull it back. So those are the two things that were weak in these people who had falls. And they had one recommendation for an exercise. And that was part of what we do with the other openings we do where we come up on the toe. But this is easier. You would come up against a wall. Put your hands out, come up on your toes, and just wait there. You can count to 30, then come back down. So this is the 
by strengthening those calf muscles and that muscle that helps pull that toe back, you decrease your risk for falls. Pardon me? Yeah, in physiotherapy. Yeah. Um, matter of fact, the, the recommendation for strengthening those came from the physiotherapy department. Yeah, when they did this study. So this is good for you. It's good for your balance. Yeah. But it's best to start doing it in the wall until you can learn where your balance is. Use that wall as a backup. Okay? All right. So, tai Chi for arthritis, part one. We are going to get into our Wuji stance with our heels together. Knees are soft, tailbone is tucked, shoulders are back and down, top of the head is up. Commence. Shift the weight, right single whip. Return. Right cloud hands. Center, open, and close. Left single whip. Return. Left cloud hands. Center, open, and close. Stepping out with the right foot, holding the ball on the right side, brush knee and push to the left. Play the pipa. Harry Perry punch. Pull back. Push the mountain. Center. Open. And close. Left foot goes out. Hold the ball on the left. Brush knee and push to the right. Play the pipa. Parry, parry, punch. Pull back, push the mountain, center, open, close, hands come down, let the chi go, feet come together, left in, right hand, fist, left thumb goes in the hole, Salute. All right, so a couple of things I want to inform you or we want to work on together. The peri peri punch being one and the open and close. So we'll start with the open and close. This is a qigong motion, which is punctuated throughout the form. You do it several times. It is an indication that you're going to change direction. 
okay? But it's also letting you come back and center and, and just reconnect with your chi. How it's done correctly from the Wu Ji position, the hands come up in front of the chest and you hold a ball about the size of your own head. Okay? You inhale, you exhale. When you inhale, the stomach balloons. When you exhale, you tighten the bottom muscles, the perineum muscles to exhale, which helps strengthen the deep stabilizer muscles. So what you're doing is you're connecting again with that chi. This is a piece that is very popular. Dr. Lamb uses it in almost every one of his forms somewhere. It is the chi uh, warm up, if you will, for the diabetes form. So it's very, it's just, this is full of energy. And it doesn't have to be big. When you're inhaling, you are filling your lungs and your belly. You're allowing your hands to expand because you're expanding your lungs. The lungs expand the chest. The chest expand, pushes out on the hands. So it's just a very organic. OK, questions? No, OK. The peri-peri punch. This is an exercise, which again is a chi. It's borrowed from Baguazan. So Sung Lu Tang was a practitioner of three different internal martial arts. He was a student of Wu, and he practiced Baguazan, and there's one other, and I can never remember the name of it, <laughs> regardless. The Baguazan that this is borrowed from, you do this walking, so you stand, there's a circle drawn out on the floor. You stand, you bring your hands up, you turn your heel out. The heel remains on the circle. You bring the foot up and forward on the circle, and the toe goes to the inside. When you shift the weight forward, you bring the foot up, the heel goes on the circle, and you shift forward. So you can see the whole idea behind, behind why we, when we, after play the pipa, we took the heel out and turn out the toe. It's just the same as we do when we're walking the circle. The hands, there is a kung fu exercise. Or is it kung fu? Don't quote me on that. <coughs> it's one of the hard style martial arts where you take the hand under and, and you kind of like peeling off the energy and you get to doing it fairly fast. This is turning that hand under, taking the energy down. You're moving the energy from your arm to the opposite hand or the opposite hand as it comes under helps guide the energy down into, and past the fingertips. So think about, and for, I'm sorry, you have no experience for this, think about taking off evening gloves. You're going to run the finger down into the glove and take it off. We have one hand facing the floor, one hand facing the ceiling, and it's close, like you're taking that glove off and then turning it over to do the other side. So combining the two of them, you are taking a step out. We're going to come from here, which is playing the pipa. So we just stepped back to play the pipa. We turn the hands. The heel goes out, and we take that energy down the arm. We take a step forward, turn the toe out, turn the hands over, and take the energy down the arm. Turn the hands, step, go forward, turn the hands, step, and go forward. So oftentimes in the sensitivity of chi, this is where people will first feel it because you're going palm to palm without touching. Okay, you bring your hands here. And just listen to the energy in your palms.
Not everybody can feel it at first, but it's, it's a matter of training. You'll get better at it. Your energy will flow easier, and you'll get better at sensing it. Okay? So let's go back, and I'm going to now talk you through heels together. Knees are soft, tailbone's tucked, shoulders are back and down, top of the head is up. We inhale as we come up. Exhales, we let the hands drop. Bring them in and up. Shift the weight to the right foot. The left comes out. We come forward. The right foot comes up. Our hands are away from our chest. We bring them back to center. Open and close. Shift the weight to the left. We're going to take the right heel down. The hands are going to come straight out over the toe for a block. We open the hands away and we part the curtain following the left hand with our eyes as we part that. We shift the weight back into the left foot. Bring the right hand under and the right foot in. We're going to step out, small step, change the hands, exhale as we come across. We step in, inhale to change, exhale as we come across. Step out, change hands with an inhale, exhale, step in, change hands, exhale. Step out, change hands, exhale, step in, change hands, exhale. Bring band hands to come back to center, open, close. Same thing other side. Shift the weight to the right, the he left heel comes out, we block over our toe, open the hands away, part the curtain following the hand with the eyes and the nose. Bring the hand under the elbow, the foot back. Step out, change, exhale. Step in, exhale again. Step out, exhale. Step in, exhale. Step out, step in. Come to center, open, and close. Now, there are two alternatives for when we change to do the turn to the left. You can step out which is what I recommend. It's easier on my knee, probably easier on yours. Then we take our weight into that right foot and take our left heel forward. From here, we go from holding the ball to bringing the left hand down and brushing over the top of the knee. We shift the weight 100% into the left, bring the toe up, and push from the shoulder. We step all 100% of the weight in the left, we step back with the right, 